Hi, I'm Chris, and let me show you how I made this two-handed spiked mace. For this project, you're going to need some stuff from the plumbing section of your local big box store. Two feet of one-inch black pipe, a one-inch cap, eight-inch piece of one-and-a-half-inch diameter pipe. Uh, mine ended up being galvanized. A one-and-a-half-inch to one-inch reducer, one-and-a-half-inch cap, and six feet of half-inch rebar for the spikes. All I could get for one and a half inch pipe was galvanized, and I kind of don't feel like getting sick from welding that. So I'll remove it with some muriatic acid. So put all your galvanized parts in a bucket and slowly cover them with the acid, and be aware that it's going to start reacting immediately. All right, this seems obvious, but this is acid. You need to be really careful with this stuff. Wear gloves, don't inhale the fumes, and definitely read all the warnings on the label. Eventually the bubbles will subside and you'll see the zinc has been removed. At that point, remove them and wash them off with some water. <laughs> it's totally up to you if you want to remove the ridges from the rebar before making the spikes. Cut 13 pieces of rebar in 3 inch sections. To sharpen the tips of the spikes, I'm using a sanding disc. So you can equally divide the sections of the one and a half inch pipe. Cut a piece of paper six inches in length and divide it into one and a half inch sections. Wrap the paper around the one and a half inch pipe and use the lines to mark your spike layout lines. Also, you're going to want to use this paper to mark the horizontal points of the three spike locations on each line. So now we're going to drill holes where you just marked. The idea is that the spikes will sit in these holes for alignment while you weld them in place. Start with a smaller bit and move to one that's a little bit larger, just under half an inch, and try not to drill all the way through. Despite my best efforts, I couldn't get the spike on the handle to weld on there straight. <laughs> Zombie heads won't know the difference. For the spikes that were on the main mace section, I used a magnetic holder and checked for square whenever I could. Man, these welds don't look good at all. So that just means I spend a little more time with my friend the angle grinder. I started with a grinding disc and moved to a sanding one. If you can, use something like a vise to help you wrench the fittings in place. Also, if you don't ever want to take this thing apart, use something like Loctite. Oh, hey there, Mr. Zombie. It looks like you had one of those really nice beards. I am so jealous. I mean, I can never grow a beard as nice like that. Well, making this zombie killing weapon was pretty fun. And uh, if you check the description, a whole bunch of us made uh, zombie weapons. So why don't you check out those other channels? Well, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you don't mind, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps us out. Get out there and make something, and we'll see you next time.